We're spending the morning in Oconto to see how students and staff are adjusting after a fire ripped through their high school. Emily Dean is live there with more Good Morning Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everyone. We are at O'Connell Middle School this morning, and I'm kind of talking a little quiet because class is actually in session out here. These are Oconto High School students that are in class right now. Russ Young, Dean of Students, is here with me this morning. Russ, explain to us how you're adjusting and what's going on right now. Well, you know, it was it was a real quick process to happen. We were fortunate that the day of the fire, by the end of the day of the fire, Mr. Malcheski, the middle school principal, was able to have figured out the rooms that were available during the day on teacher's prep and whatnot and was able to accommodate us with a schedule. So we're kind of uh, teaching on a cart. What we've got right here right now is a high school uh, geometry class with Mr. Holmgren. And the challenge for Mr. Holmgren is that all of the textbooks are still in the, 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 the high school. And, you know, they, they allowed us to get things that we needed as an emergency. So, so Mr. Holmgren now, because he's an experienced teacher, is able to, to adapt on the fly and, and uh, do a little research and then come back and, and basically take the textbook that they would have in front of them and have to teach it on the board, um, almost old school style. And even the desks that they're sitting at, they're not normal desks. No, you know, this this room was is split in two and, and we we accommodated as best we could. We're, we're pretty tight. You know, uh, this building was built for kindergarten through eighth grade students, um, 800 of them, but it wasn't built for high school students. And so some of our larger, taller kids really struggle in this. And and the middle school staff was, was a, amazing in terms of just accommodating and creating enough learning space for us that we're able to have desks that work. It's it's not ideal, it's not perfect, it's not what we're used to, but you know, we, we just try to make sure academic learning goes on. Right. Well, thank you so much, Russ. Let's go out here into the hallway because Aaron Malchewski is here with me. He is actually the middle school principal. The hallways are quiet right now. We saw tons of students though go into the classroom. So this is middle school students, high school students all coming together, but things are working. Very well, yeah. Like uh, Mr. Young had said, the true challenge was getting that schedule together and getting people in their classrooms. But since then, I couldn't be prouder of our staff and our students students and how flexible they've been in welcoming the high school students and it, it, it seems almost natural now that they're here after our second week together. Yeah, And I know Russ said that this classroom was split in two. Let's have you come with me down here because we want to introduce you to Rick Sherman. He is a history teacher and also athletic director. Hey Rick, Good morning. how's it going? Can we walk into your classroom? Because oh, sure. that classroom you can hear over there is the geometry classroom. This is split in two. So how are things for you as a teacher? and the athletic director. How has that been for the transition? Oh, the transition's been very, very uh, well. Uh, you know, as I just said to you, the collaboration that took place between the two principals, Mr. Melcheski and Mr. Slough, along with the assistance that we've received from the middle school teachers, you know, they've helped to create a, a, a very smooth transition for us. Yeah, and I, you just have to make it work no matter what. And the students look happy this morning. Hi, everybody. <laughs> So you can go to our website to learn more, but wow, it's been really great to see all of this happen and everybody work together. And like they said, they're going to be opening up the school, Condo High School, by May 12th. That's that's the date. So really great to see this all happen. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, real, real easy transition, it seems. Thanks, Em.